Don't get mad. Get media. Mad Pod. Rare celebrity interviews. Indie music. MadPod.com. Your global audio internet connection. Coming up on MadPod.com. Hey everybody, how you doing? Jay Donnelly with you, MadPod.com, and welcome to this week's Corona SDK App of the Week. And this week we have the developer from the studio, New Mindflow, and their ebook called Where's Paradise? This week's Corona SDK's App of the Week from Anska Mobile, right here at MadPod.com. Don't get mad. Get media. MadPod. MadPod.com. Hi, everybody. Jay Donnelly with you, MadPod.com. And this week's Corona SDK App of the Week from Anska Mobile. It's an ebook called Where's Paradise? And it's from the studio New Mind Flow. And on the line, we have the developers of the app. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Radish Kevesdi, and I'm here with... Uh, Ana Maria Kevenu, hi. And um, I'm glad you pronounced that, and I did not even try, so very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, why don't you guys tell us a little about your app, and why did you choose uh, the Corona SDK to uh, produce your app? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we chose Corona SDK. I think we found out about it a couple of years back when we were um, still planning to do a game first. And then we just kind of knew about it. We didn't really follow it because we had some other plans. But it was kind of a um, fortunate coincidence because we ran into some trouble this spring with the financing that we had before and making our game, so we thought we'll have to make uh, the app on our own. And that's when uh, a great plugin for Corona, um, a great Photoshop plugin actually that uses Corona called Quick came out. And so we knew, because we don't have any coding experience. We're oh, so you, uh, you use Quick uh, with Alex. Yeah, it's oh, Quick, yeah. exactly, developed by, by, by Alex. And so we're filmmakers, we don't have any kind of uh, development experience or coding experience so uh, the, the combination of Corona and Quick was great for us to quickly uh, make the app and and uh, put it out there so that's the story on how we got to um, use Corona and uh, and Quick to develop our app. Well can you tell us about your app? Uh, can you just describe it a bit? Uh, yeah sure um, there's a bit of a background story to, to, to how we got to do the app. In 2010, we were in Indonesia. Like I said, we were working on the on a game. We had some funding, but not not too much money. So we went to uh, we researched a bit where we could find some good uh, and talented graphic artists, but also who were willing to work on the cheap side. So we, I had some connections, some friends in Indonesia. We went there and we stayed there for six months de developing um, our game. And we took a few trips around the country. And one of them was to Nusa Lembongan. It's, it's, it's an island close to Bali. And we did some, we found that we, instead of being tourists, we were drawn to uh, because I think because we're artists, we're filmmakers, we were drawn to, uh, we found ourselves filming and shooting photos instead of uh, doing what regular tourists would do, I guess. And when we came back home, we were still developing our game, but then we ran into some financial trouble this spring. Our, fine, our uh, financer kind of backed out. And uh, because he had some trouble of his own, and we we still didn't want to uh, give up the idea of making apps. And mm. I had this idea of um, what's it like for the people who actually live in these these small island paradises. You know, like like most people in the Western world or uh, envision. If you search the word paradise and you you search it as an image search on Google. Almost 100% of the images that will turn up will be of uh, islands. Of yeah. tropical islands, so I had this this idea of how 
what's it like for the people who actually live in these places and we started putting together the film and the photos and we wanted to to make it into to into a project and to build it as as an app so how long did it actually take you uh to build the app from start to finish uh well for um the content of the app it uh, took us um about a year and uh, just developing the app with um, corona and quick it took us um, about two weeks so it's a, it's a very big difference um, and it turned out really fine to be like that um, we were actually we never hoped to be so so easy and uh, so quick for us to to develop this fast well two weeks that's uh that's fast so what uh, what tips and tricks would you guys give for other developers uh who might be just starting out and uh what little tips you would give them to build an app with Corona? Well, it's hard for us to give development uh, tips and tricks because, like we said, we're not developers. But from an artist's point of view, I think uh, for, for somebody starting out, especially as an independent, most importantly, it would be to find a project that you you're really would love to do. And because that will make your work a lot easier and don't don't compromise so if you know you can do better do it and people will will appreciate you and your projects because you did so you I said think. it took you guys two weeks uh using quick and corona to uh, put your app together how many hours a day did you actually work on that because that's uh, that's a great turnaround time um, well i guess when we were actually uh developing from when we started to design the app, which took three months designing the UI and mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything, um, I guess we started working about 10 to 12 hour days. Before that, with the content, we were working on an average of eight hours a day. Mm. Well, with the editing and the photo editing and all that and the text. So what's, what's next for you guys? Do uh, you have uh, another project lined up? Um, yeah, we're, we're planning to do an interactive storybook. Uh, I, hopefully it'll come out this spring or early summer. We, we're not sure about that yet. And we still have, like I mentioned before, the, the games in development that they're on pause <laughs> mm -hmm. right now, but we're not planning on giving them up because we have a lot of artwork and uh, we put a lot of thought into the story and everything. Um, and if uh, things work out with um, with Where's Paradise, I, uh, this is the the Nusalem Bongan uh, app. Uh, app is actually the first episode. So if if things work out and we can continue doing um, funding it from its own success, so to speak, uh, we'll we'll make a few more episodes of um, of this project. So that's basically it. That's, and that's uh, where can people find you? What's your uh, your website? Our website is newmindflow.com. And uh, um, what, what I also wanted to mention is that all the content, so with the app, we're charging for the iPad app, but we're not charging for the, for the content. So people who are interested in just seeing the content can go to Vimeo and see the film, just uh, search uh, Where's Paradise? Or it, I think the film uh, we call the film Low Tide, the seaweed farmers of Nusalem Bongan on Vimeo, and all the photos uh, we made them available on uh, Flickr and 500 pixels as well. So the, the the iPad app is just a way for people who like our project to to support us. So we're not charging for the content itself. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, uh, New Mind Flow Studios, the developers and authors from the uh, Corona SDK. Where's Paradise, app of the week. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.